So, next example for factor theorem. Find k so that x plus 5 is a factor of p of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x squared minus kx minus 20. So, technically, hindi yan kakayanin ng synthetic. So, calculate for p of r tayo. Okay? So, let's calculate first x plus 5. So, ito muna. x plus 5 is equal to 0. And then, x is equal to negative 5. Okay? So, when x is equal to negative 5, then p of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x squared minus kx minus 20. So, let's just substitute uh, x is equal to negative 5. Lahat ng x, papalitan natin ng negative 5. So, may negative siya. So, lagyan natin ng parenthesis. Cube plus 5 times negative 5 squared minus k times negative 5 minus 20. Okay, let's evaluate now. We have negative 5 cube. So, that means negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. Negative times negative positive. 5 times 5 25 times negative 5. Positive times negative negative. 25 times 5 is 125. So, 125. Negative 125. Ah, ayusin ko lang. This is negative 125. Plus 5 times, we have negative 5 square. That means negative 5 times negative 5. Negative times negative positive. So we have positive 5 times 5, 25. 25. And then negative times negative is positive. Five ti uh, K times 5 is 5K five minus 20. Okay, next, we have to evaluate, or should I say we have to perform the indicated operation. Negative 1, 2, 5 plus 5 times 25, nakuha na natin yun, 125 plus 5K minus 20. Okay, negative 1, 2, 5 plus 1, 2, 5 is 0. So, cancel, cancel. So, ang matitira sa atin ay 5K minus 20. So, P of negative 5 is equal to 5K minus 20. Pagdating mo doon, you have to equate the given equation to 0. Okay? O, paano yung gagawin 0? So, yung P of, 5, of negative 5 mo, gagawin mo siyang 0. Okay? Kasi nga, Ang x plus 5 ay factor naman daw nito. Para maging factor niya. So, ibig sabihin, ang remainder ng p of negative 5 mo dapat 0. So, equate mo siya sa 0. Is equal to 5k minus 20. Okay? So, arrange lang din natin ulit. Lagay natin doon. Ito pwede rin isulat as uh, 5k minus 20 is equal to 0. Ang tawag doon, commutative property. As long as wala tayong na-violate na sign, pwede natin silang pag-switch yan kasi equal sign naman yung nandito. Okay? Now, next, let's find the value of k. Paano yon? Let's first uh, transpose negative 20 to the other side of the equation. Okay? So, magiging 5k is equal to from negative 20, magiging positive 20. And then to find for the value of k, you have to divide both sides by, uh, should I say 5? Divide both sides by 5. And then cancel out. k now is 20 over 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So therefore, the value of k is 4. Now we have to check kung tama ang sagot natin. Ano? Mag-check tayo gamit ang synthetic. Dapat ang remainder natin 0 para ang uh, para mapatunay natin yung k is 4. Okay? So, we have 
x cubed plus 5x squared minus kx minus 20. When k is equal to 4, ang k natin ay 4. Okay? So, ito magiging x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x minus 20. And divide it by x plus 5. Okay. Divide na natin using synthetic para mabilis. Coefficient from positive 5, negative 5. Negative 5. Ang coefficient ng x cube 1, ito 5, negative 4, at saka negative 20. And then bring, uh, bring down the first coefficient. 1 times negative 5, negative 5. 5 minus 5, 0. 0 times negative 5 is 0. Negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Negative 20 in positive 20 is 0. So, therefore, the remainder, remainder is 0. Conclusion. Then, the value of k to make x plus 5 as a factor of x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x or minus kx minus kx minus 20 <clears throat> is 4. So, tapos na tayo. Yan. Ganyan naman i-deal yung ganitong problem. Okay? So, that's it. End of module 9.